Hey YouTuber, Working Man's Pride here. Today I want to show you a little trick that I do. So, you go to Lowe's, you get a belt for your lawn tractor or whatever you want to call it. They have these little pieces on here. Well, look closely at this. You want to th cut to remove. Do not cut this to remove it. Now, I'm sure you can still bring it back if you get the wrong belt or something. If you cut this. But what I did was, I think that's ridiculous. I think, in my opinion, they might do that in order to get you to not be able to return it. So what I did was, you can see that those are little tabs. You can get in there with a little tiny flathead or something and then, and then push them away and then try to get up on them. But let me show you what I did. And this, this doesn't hurt it. Because I've done it to this exact piece of plastic probably close to four times and it still is not showing any signs. So what you do is you take two flathead screwdrivers. You insert one this way and then insert one going this way. See that? And what you want to do is let me try and set y'all down here. For those of you who already know, I'm not going to take it personal if you go ahead and skip it. Alright. Boom. That's all it takes. See? I didn't damage it. This plastic is not hard enough to break. Now, if you're in, if you do this in like really, really cold weather, yes, you do run the risk of breaking it. But all I do is take a little bit of glue and make it look like it never been broke. But they want you to cut this little hinge part. Not gonna happen. Guess what I did? Pulled the bell out. It didn't fit, so I roll. I folded it back up and put it back in there. Slid it back in there. I took this piece. Because it has your little store alarm thing, whatever the heck that goes to. And I just did this. Snaps right back on. You heard the first one snap in, the second one snap in. Or if you push it in the middle, both of them will snap in at the same place. Boom. But you'll have to take two flatheads in order to, or pile up on those tabs. But I found it easier, and it made it look like it wasn't tampered with if you just popped it right open like that so if you get that belt i don't know maybe you've already done this before and you've actually cut it and they they do accept returns but if i were you i would just make it look like it's never been touched that way they don't have anything to say to you because you know how people are these days they got something they always want to say so that's how to properly remove that piece on a belt thanks for watching